I've been into making games for a few years now, bad ones, good ones, but there's one thing all of them have in common, they are 2D. Why? Because I was always scared of trying to make 3D games. I watched this a Blender Donut tutorial and it looked way too hard. I thought adding another dimension was like going from primary school math straight to calculus. <laughs> so I never bothered even trying to make anything in 3D. Until now. Can I really call myself a developer if I can't create some simple triangles on my screen? So, I'm not scared anymore. Today I open a Blender again and I'm making a 3D game, baby! Before I made anything, every good game needs some concept art. So I drew this thing. It's a fish with teeth ears. Its name is Catfish. Genius, I know. From that donut tutorial, I still remembered how to do basic things like adding vertexes and extra ding. I made my silly catfish and wow, it was not that hard at all. But I obviously wanted animated, so I tried adding pawns to move it around and wow, this is where the pain started. Eventually I got it working though. I imported it to Godot and look at it, it's alive. Wow. Now it's time to do some coding for the movement. I don't really like doing this, but I had to ask ChatGPT for help because I have absolutely no idea how rotating things in 3D works. But after all that pain and making a simple animation system, I got the movement working. This is called an animation tree and it allows me to seamlessly fade between animations. And with that, the player is complete. And it's, uh, it's a fish, yeah, I don't know what this game will be about honestly. Then I drew the catfish a simple texture and I love this little cute creature. Meow, meow. Sadly, it has no habitat to live in, so I gotta make it a map. While modeling the fish, I was using the edit mode, which gave me precise control over each vertex in the model. But for the map, I started sculpting, which is less precise, but much better for creating terrain or big models like this. After coloring it in, I added some water, which I used a free shader for, and it's looking pretty good. I know it's nothing, but considering there are only like 3 things on the screen, the atmosphere is quite cool, I think. Then, to make it not so empty, I created this other fish and made it spawn and swim randomly. And after creating these tall plant thingies, we have our first area ready. I'm gonna call it... um... Green Buff. I'm sure that name has never been used before, right? For the next week or so, nothing interesting was happening as I was just adding more fish and decorations to the map. If you know anything about Blender, you're probably thinking, wow, this guy sucks at Blender. And I agree, I'm probably doing everything in the worst way possible. And that's fine, after all, it's my first time doing it. Whenever I have a problem, I prefer to try and figure it out myself rather than search up a tutorial. Sure, I will look for help when I get really stuck, but that's because the point is to never stop having fun with it, right? I'm just saying, when you're trying out something new, whether it's making games, drawing, or even talking in a YouTube video, it's okay if you make mistakes. What you're creating is yours. Of course it will have your mistakes and imperfections in it. That's exactly what makes it yours. Now look at our cute fish. We have stupid fish, grass fish, water fish, dust fish, wanderer fish and its gold variant, elder wanderer fish, Lightfish and the Skullfish. They all live in different places in my underwater world. Okay, but what will the gameplay of this game even be? Ha, huh, this is where my genius begins. Catfishing means deceiving others with a fake identity. So it makes sense that the catfish isn't really a fish. It's a fisherman and you will be catching the fish with a net. So the gameplay loop will involve catching fish, selling them for money and getting upgrades to catch better fish. I made some fish easy to catch, but other will try to swim away from you. Sadly, this is where my genius ends, because going around and just clicking can get very boring very fast. So I'm thinking about adding a mini game whenever you're about to catch a fish, like a capture pops up or something, I don't know. Ok, it's done. Now whenever you try to catch a fish, you have to do a few second minigame, ranging from clicking in time to guessing the correct cap. Each fish has their own game to do in order to catch them. Look, there's even one telling you to subscribe. I think you know what that means. Then I started drawing a picture of each fish to make this catch animation, but while I was doing that I realized, 
I have already gotten so better at modeling in 3D. I mean, just look at this early fish I made. You. But the more recent models, they look like... I think they look like actual low poly models now. So, I think I'm ready for the next challenge. This bracelet I have inspired me to create a cat character named Bob. He's a fish merchant working together with catfish to trade. He's gonna sit here, buy fish and sell upgrades. Obviously, modeling a cat is much more complex than a fish, but I feel like I'm ready for it. From the start, I don't know if it was a mistake choosing the edit mode over sculpting. It's more precise, but I just felt like Sisyphus while working on this model. If you know anything about Blender, please tell me in the comments when to use which mode. This model was supposed to be my final showcase of what I learned during the making of this game, but honestly he looks kinda worse than I imagined, like... This cat is a special cat, okay? He looks a bit weird, but at the same time this might be the most perfect creature I have ever seen. Now it's just time to create his shop and upgrades. Coding UI is kinda boring stuff, so I'll skip over it quickly. Here's how it turned out, this is all you have to see. Next, I added a background so the sky doesn't look so empty. And by that I mean just some squares for mountains and trees. Honestly, square is my favorite shape. Comment your favorite shape down below or something, I just need comments, okay? Then I added some simple settings like shadows and sound effects, a quick tutorial, and most importantly, some dialogue for Bob. These are all 2D things, so I won't really talk about them in detail. I would love to add more things to this game, but honestly, I'm a little tired of making it. I actually have a second cut bracelet, so it would be perfect for another character. Let's just say, if this video does good, I'll add more things. So make sure to subscribe and like, meow. By the way, this game is downloadable in the description if you want. But remember that it wasn't really playtested, so it might be... not fun? God, I hope not. Okay, final verdict. Did I enjoy making my first 3D game? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Making the models and 3D environments is a ton of fun. And it's not as hard as I expected at all. Sometimes I felt like it's actually easier than 2D games, since in 3D a lot of the beauty comes more naturally, if that makes sense. Will I decide to make more 3D games in the future? Maybe? Probably? Make sure to follow along if you wanna see. This was Kryas, thanks for watching.